Hey guys and gals, it's Steve here from Tweaktown, and today I'm going to be going over AMD's FreeSync technology as part of my AMD APU uh, A10 series 7870K review. This is a Kaveri refresh, and the Kaveri refresh includes built-in FreeSync support. Uh, FreeSync requires a compatible adapter, a graphics adapter. Uh, I'm going to be using the Sapphire R9285. Uh, I could just use the IGP, but I decided to use this instead because this is what was in my test bench right now. Um, and it's plugged into an ASUS uh, A88X uh, motherboard, and the APU is the 7870K, of course. Now, the monitor also has to be compatible. This is an ASUS 144Hz gaming panel. It is the MG, um, I believe, 279Q. 279Q and it's 144Hz IPS gaming monitor from ASUS. There is an ROG version of this board, so any of you ROG fans out there, uh, you might look into that monitor. Uh, this is a really nice panel, uh, 1440p, and it has FreeSync support built in. To enable FreeSync, uh, we must go into the ASUS control panel, and let me zoom up on that for you. So you must first enable FreeSync in the panel in, on the monitor to get it to uh, work on your display. You go down on, on in this monitor, you go to image, and then FreeSync will be at the bottom of the image menu. You must use display port, and here it's enabled at 35 to 90 hertz uh, refresh rate. So those are the refresh rates where FreeSync will work. To show FreeSync, I'm going to use AMD's, um, AMD has a uh, FreeSync demo. So I'm going to start that up right now. So the FreeSync demo uh, basically shows an image that easily shows tearing. So tearing is the product of frame rates not lining up between the monitor and the graphics card. So this is everything is off. Uh, this benchmark or demo will allow me to uh, turn VSync on and FreeSync on independent of each other. So the application must turn it on. So let me make sure I am zoomed in correctly. Okay. So you can definitely see the tearing on the bar as it moves across the screen. Let me get the mouse out of the way for you. Well, let me highlight with the mouse. You can see the tearing. Move the mouse away. So you can see the tearing, and that is the next frame coming up before it should. So it creates a kind of a messed up image. So with FreeSync off and VSync off, you get this tearing. Let me turn the lights out. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So the lights are off, it's a little spooky in here. Anyways, we have FreeSync technology, and we have VSync. I'm going to enable VSync. Now, when you enable VSync, the tearing goes away immediately, right? But the image is not as smooth as it goes across the screen. So it goes across the screen a little slower, and it stutters as it goes. So it kind of jumps when it stutters, like my hand is doing. And you can see it, right? It's not going across very smooth. When we turn FreeSync on, the smoothness comes back. And when we turn VSync off and just FreeSync on, the image moves across the screen without tearing, but much smoother. It's a much smoother image that comes out. Now, FreeSync off. You can definitely see the tearing. FreeSync on. No tearing. And VSync plus v FreeSync plus VSync just kind of makes the image uh, jump around a tiny bit, slows it down a little bit but it's not a big deal. Uh, there's no real difference between the two um, if it's on or off with FreeSync enabled. But there is a difference with just FreeSync by itself and it's much better than with uh, just VSync on by itself. So VSync on by itself, you definitely see that little jumping around. The bar is not as smooth, right? But with FreeSync on, the bar re comes back to the smoothness of, well, it wasn't really smooth here because there's tearing, but here's both of them off. The bar goes across pretty quickly, right? So right in the middle, I'm going to turn FreeSync on, and you notice the bar goes at the same rate. So now everything is off, and then in the middle, I'm going to turn VSync on, okay? Ready? VSync on. And you see it kind of stutters as it goes around the, across the screen. So just FreeSync on now, and you see the tearing goes away, as does the stuttering. I think it's a valid, very valid technology, um, and gaming with this monitor, you definitely would want to turn it on, especially if the game supports the technology because it's pretty cool and you can see the image is pretty smooth and it's moving across the screen with no issue there are other demos in this demo this is animation 2 this is a windmill going across the screen no tearing smooth uh, off you can see it's going at a pretty good rate but you can see the tearing especially when it goes left and right once it goes to the end now it's tearing and now it's tearing again so you can definitely see the tearing now vsync on by itself tearing is gone 
but the windmill kind of goes across the screen at a little bit of slower rate, and you can see a little bit of jumping. Now, V-Sync off and FreeSync on, tearing is gone, and the image moves across uh, very nice. Now, just V-Sync on, and you can see the image is jumping a little bit, but as soon as we turn V-Sync on, the image is smooth. The frame, the frame rate is, is synced up between the monitor and the graphics adapter, and you get a much smoother picture. So V-Sync is software's answer to uh, tearing of frames, and FreeSync is basically hardware and software tackling the tearing issue. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and please read the rest of my 78, uh, 7870K review on www.tweetown.com. Anyways, thanks for watching, and come back again.